And the UN Human Rights Commissioner says the horrific images from Bucha, Ukraine, show all the signs that civilians were directly targeted and killed. The Ukrainian army was out on the streets Tuesday collecting discarded weapons and unexploded ordnance. Many of the bodies have already been taken away now that Russian forces have withdrawn. The senior US diplomat says the images of mass graves and body bags reinforce the need for countries around the world to hold those responsible accountable. What we've seen in, uh, in Bucha is not the random act of a rogue unit. It's a deliberate campaign uh, to kill to torture, uh, to rape, uh, to commit atrocities. The Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov calls the videos from Bucha artificial, meant to derail peace talks between Russia and Ukraine. But he failed to mention satellite images that help prove the atrocities are real. A warning, our report now from Matthew Chance contains graphic content yet again. If you think Russian soldiers are humans, he says, just look at this. The shocked words of a Ukrainian driver recording these appalling scenes on the road into Butcher. But what took place here is beyond words, beyond outrage. Ukrainian officials say the bodies being retrieved are of civilians killed by Russian forces in the town. Some with their hands tied behind their backs before being shot dead. Evidence of war crimes. The charge the Kremlin and its propaganda machine is categorically denied. This is how one of the top anchors on Russian state television explained the massacre. It must have been the work of British specialists, he says, because the town of Butcher and the English word Butcher sounds so similar. Maybe it's a joke, but no one's laughing. Uh, Certainly not the Kremlin spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, who's dubbed the killings a well-staged, tragic show and a forgery to try to denigrate the Russian army. A huge amount of data, he told journalists, clearly indicates this is faked. Staged, say Russian officials, after their troops had left. But satellite images of Butcher, first published by the New York Times, showed bodies had been strewn across the streets there for weeks, at least from March the 18th, when the town was under Russian control. Photographic evidence that contradicts the Kremlin's claims. It's also raising concerns that more killings will be unearthed as Russian forces withdraw. The Ukrainian president, seen here visiting Butcher, accusing Russia of trying to hide the traces of their crimes in other parts of Ukraine that remain under Russian control. It makes a peace deal even harder. Every day we find people in barrels, strangled or tortured in basements, President Zelensky says. It's very difficult to negotiate when you see what they have done here. It is sickening to accept that the sacrifice of these people may have actually pushed back the chances of peace in Ukraine, instead of bringing this appalling conflict to an end. Matthew Chats, CNN. Still ahead this hour, 